kind of look at it as a, a gigantic chip shot. I okay. give a body, you know, kind of parallel, maybe a little open to it. All right. And the closer I stand to it, the more I can swing along that target line. I'm just thinking, trying to send this club on the target line, a foot before the ball to a foot after it's traveling on the target line. So then it's going to go pretty straight. Yeah. The distance control is your main key ingredient in, in wedges. All right. So in distance control, I just think of it as a speedometer. For 30 yards, I use 30 miles an hour. 50 yards, 50 miles an hour. 100 yards, 100 miles an hour. Let's, let's and I see. just kind of try to feel that with my arm speed and gotcha. let my body react. There's not a lot of body drive because you don't need the power. Okay. So uh, 30 miles an hour. That face is staying very, very square through that hit, too. Try to it? stay completely square at 50 miles an hour. And then 100 miles an hour. I'm not using a lot of body motion. I'm kind of staying on, I'm planning on my left side. And just feeling it, it's an arm swing. My body kind of reacts. If I have the right miles per hour, it'll go the right distance. So yeah, uh, uh, one of the Harmon uh, brothers, Dick Harmon, taught me this at a very early age. Uh, when I set up to it, I envisioned my chin on a shelf, all right? And it's, say, it's uh, 60 inches high. And it's on that shelf, and when I go back, it's 60 inches high. When I make contact, it's 60 inches high. It's length right here. And if I do that, I'm going to have great contact every time, and then I can concentrate on my miles per hour for my distance.